Percy the Small Engine happily works on the island of Solo. During the day, he works on the Fuckwell branch, taking stone trucks from the yard down to the harbour at Knackford. Then, in the early hours of the morning, he takes the mail train along most of the branch lines. Sometimes, when no other engines are available, Percy gets to take some stone trucks down the main line all the way to the yards at Barrow, the place where the northwestern region ends and the Midland region begins. He is very proud of this and always enjoys the long journey. One day, Percy was privileged with this job. He crossed the Vickerstown Bridge, where he soon reached Barrow Yards, where Norman was shunting. Hello Norman, where's your brother? Dennis? No, I don't know, probably sleeping somewhere. <laughs> oh dear. So, any news here? Huh, actually, now that you mention it, I do have some news. Me and old Dennis might be coming to work on your railway properly. Wow, really? Yeah, British Railways really isn't interested in using us anymore. It's only thanks to your fat controller that we've been able to last this long. They're talking about replacing us with some L8s and then me and Dennis will come to work on Sodor. <laughs> Maybe you could come to work in the yards at Tidmouth. Ever since Duck left, us tank engines have been taking it in turns to do the piloting job. <laughs> we'll see. Anyway, where would you like these trucks? Ah yes, could you leave them on the other side of the yard please? Sure thing. Oh, and be careful. The diesels from Barry's scrapyard will be coming soon. They aren't the most nicest of engines. Don't worry, Norman. I'll be fine. Right, well, you take care, Percy. Percy soon found the right styling and shunted away his stone trucks. Just as he was about to leave... Oh no! Hey, you stupid engine. Yeah, you stupid engine. Sorry. But, well, you did come out of nowhere. Ha! That's you steam engines. No sense of direction. Yeah, no sense of direction. Hey, there's no need to be rude. I can say whatever I want. Yeah, whatever he wants. Do you even know what's going on here? What's going on? Splatter, shut up! Aww. What are you talking about? British Railway's modernization plan? It's nearly complete. Soon all steam engines will have been withdrawn and scrapped, and those who have been saved will be banned from running! No, that's not true. You're one of those northwestern engines, aren't you? No wonder you don't know. That's that island dodge, making him soft, keeping him around. Not for long. Eventually, even over there, steam engines will be scrapped too. The fat controller would never... He's probably just pities you, sooner or later. He'll come to his senses. Enjoy your life. Why well, you still have it? Uh, where did you get that stuff? Oh, the boss told me. He knows everything. He's never wrong. Oh dear. They're making it up. They've got to be. But he wasn't sure. On his way back to Sodor, he passed through the station. There he saw a big diesel taking on the wild Norwester. He couldn't help but worry more. As Percy went over Gorn's Hill, he passed a foreign engine, making its way back to the mainland. A foreign diesel engine. This didn't help ease Percy's nerves. He stopped to take on water at Wellsworth. Edward was there shouting in the yards. Hello Percy, you do look glum. What's the matter? I met some diesels at Barrow today, Edward. They said the other railway has stopped using steam engines and that they were going to ban them from running. Is that true? I'm afraid it is, Percy. In August, they will stop using steam engines and ban them from running on their line. Percy was devastated. Well, that's not fair. Or what about Gorn's Express? Or my stone trains? I'm sure we will be able to travel to Barrow, but we won't be allowed past that point. Do you think that it will happen here? Of course not, Percy. As long as we're on Sodor, we're safe. Don't worry, this won't affect us. Edward felt satisfied. He thought he made Percy feel better. He hadn't. Despite Edward's kind words, it didn't help him. He was still worried about the future of steam engines. What if Edward's wrong? What if we are scrapped? Percy continued to worry. In fact, he spent the next few days worrying. This was beginning to affect his work. 
What do deals take over here? No, they can't. Can't they? They, they could. Wow, watch out. Huh? Oh! Ow! Give it a rest. You silly engine. You could have knocked them into the sea and we could have lost all that good stone. Sorry. Diesels would never take over Sodor. We're, we're okay. But what if one were to... Whoa, Percy! Watch out! We just missed the station! Huh? Oh! Oh, oh dear. I'm sorry. Huh. I don't get paid enough to deal with this crap. The other engines were getting worried about Percy. Well, most of them anyway. I think it's telling him some good. It's teaching him the world is not all sunshine and rainbows. Here, here. I'm going to disagree. <laughs> That's new. What? He's struggling. I struggled too when I first heard the news. Well, I will say, something does need to be done. At least you didn't let it get in the way of your work. He did nearly derail some trucks earlier. I've tried talking to him, but it didn't work. What else can I do? Maybe he needs to talk to someone who can relate with his problem. Like who, Boko? Boko is right. That little guy needs someone he can talk to about his issues. I would be more than willing to. What makes you so qualified? Well, if you remember, James, back in the States, diesels were taken over at least 10 years before they were here. I was lucky to be saved by your fair controller when I was. And there's Douglas. He came here with his twin Donald to avoid being scrapped by a BR. No to forget about Oliver. He was withdrawn and fled his own home to get here. It took him months from what I heard. You see, lots of engines have been saved by the fat controller. I think talking to the engines that have had first-hand experience with dieselization could help him feel safe here. Well, I'm sure it'll work. I'm sure it will work, Edward. I'll talk to Douglas and Oliver about this. I recommend you also get the fat controller. The four of you should be able to get through to him. The next day, Percy was resting in the yard. He was still thinking about how steam engines have been abolished and how preserved ones will be banned. Those poor engines on the other railway, and all those diesels, and... How are Percy? Hey, morning, Percy. Oh, hi. You alright? Yeah, I suppose. I've just been thinking a lot. You know, me and Hank have been talking. Douglas here was telling me about how he ran away from Scotland with his brother to avoid being scrapped. And Hank was telling me about how he met the VAT controller while he was on holiday to America and brought him back to Sodor. I see. I the VAT controller's a wonderful man indeed. If I had stayed in Scotland, I would have been scrapped for sure. And I would have been scrapped too if I stayed in America. Percy felt a little bit confused. Just then, Oliver pulled in. Don't forget about my escape from the scrapyard. It took me months. I had many close calls. And I helped you the rest of the way. Hey! <laughs> but the point is, Oliver, you made it here. Huh? You were successful, and now you work on my railway. Sir? Percy, I have heard that you've not been feeling yourself recently. <sighs> I'm sorry, sir. I'm just scared. Of what? Of the future. The modernization plans need to complete. They are going to scrap all their steam engines, and they're going to ban steam engines from running. What about the express? Or about the goods trains that go out to Barrow? Or what about our, our railway? What did BR try to? Percy, it's all been taken care of. I've had meetings with BR, steam will still run here, and work will still carry on at Barrow, which is not allowed past that point. And there is no chance of diesels taking over, not while I'm in charge. And look at us, Percy. We've all been saved by sir. I've only been in service for a year. And you really think that they would scrap me now? Alright, alright, Oliver. So, did you all arrange this? For me? It was Hank's idea. I knew you needed someone to talk to, Percy. Trust me, Percy. As long as I'm in charge, Dean will always have a place on Sodor. Oh no! Good morning. <clears throat> Steam the old diesel. Sir, did you buy Norman after all? Indeed I did. So that's another engine I've just saved. Norman smiled and Percy whistled happily. 
Percy's still afraid of being scrapped, every engine is, but now Percy knows he shouldn't worry, and while the future may be uncertain, he knows that he will always be safe on the island of Sodor.